Welcome to Multiplication with Monsters. We're going to be working on just multiples of 2 through 5 today. This will be an interactive experience if you have a partner, so make sure you pause the video for a second and grab one. You need to learn how to multiply. I do it all the time. I know I'm a teacher, but I do it when I'm not at school too. Today, we'll learn five important things about multiplication. One, we can quickly count things using multiplication. Two, multiplication is repeated addition in equal groups. Three, multiplication can be represented more than one way. Four, the answer to a multiplication problem is a product. Five, the numbers being multiplied in a multiplication problem are called factors. Multiplication comes in handy all the time when we need to count large groups of things. Pause the video to discuss the examples below and then see how many more you can think of with your partner. We'll start with some groups of two. Below you see a repeated addition problem with the same size groups. Meet Barry. He is obsessed with burritos. He eats two burritos on Monday, two burritos on Tuesday, two burritos on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We can show that with this repeated addition problem. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two equals 14. But oh my goodness, that took a really long time. How can we do that a little bit faster? How can we represent those seven twos equal 14 faster than we did with that repeated addition problem? Pause the video and have a discussion with your partner. Did you and your partner figure out that if we just use seven groups of two, we could get the same answer, 14? That's so much faster. This is Josie. Josie has a problem that's kind of like mine. She absolutely loves buying shoes. She's a little worse than me though, because she went out and bought five pairs of shoes in one day. You can see it represented here with an array or an area model. What do you notice? We can see groups of two here. There's one, two, three, four, five groups of two. How could we represent that with a multiplication problem? Pause the video and tell your partner. What multiplication problem would we use? Did you and your partner say five groups of two or five times two equals 10? That's right, great work. Here we see another way to represent 5 times 2 equals 10, or 5 groups of 2 equals 10. It's called a tape diagram. Look at the tape diagram and find the 5 groups of 2. Do you see the product 10? What is a factor? What is a product? In this problem, 4 times 2 equals 8, or 4 groups of 2 equals 8. 4 and 2 are the factors. They are the numbers being multiplied. 8 is the product. It is the answer that we get when we multiply 4 and 2, when we put together 4 groups of 2. Now let's work on groups of 3. We're on repeated addition with the same size group again. This is Ross. Ross loves corn dogs. I love corn dogs too, but not quite as much as Ross because he eats three corn dogs on Saturday and three corn dogs on Sunday. Ugh, that's a lot of corn dogs. We can see this represented with the repeated addition problem. Three plus three equals six. How could we show that with a multiplication problem? I see in my addition problem there are two groups of three that equal six. Pause the video and discuss that with your partner. Answer reveal time. Two groups of three equals six. We can also say two times three equals six. Great work. Meet Marge. She has an interesting hobby. She likes to collect tricycles. She went garage sailing last weekend and got these four tricycles. 
some of them are actually pretty cool. Now let's figure out how many wheels are on these tricycles. You can see it represented on the array or area model. But now we need to figure out what multiplication problem can represent this. Pause the video to discuss it with your partner. Marge has four groups of three wheels, or four times three equals 12. She's got 12 new wheels to add to her collection. Another way to represent four groups of three equals 12, or four times three equals 12, is a tape diagram. If we look at the tape diagram, we can see the four groups of three all together at the top and 12 at the bottom. What is a factor? What is a product? We can represent that with this multiplication problem. Five groups of three equals 15. This is Franco and he has four other brothers. They're very proud of their three sides. So, the five brothers and their three sides, those represent the factors in the multiplication problem. The 15 sides that they have all together, that is the product. We're on to groups of four now. We're gonna do repeated addition with the same size group. Scooter and Theo don't have grilled cheese sandwiches very often, but when they do, they eat a lot. They have to have four plates with four halves of sandwiches on each one. That's represented with this addition problem here. We can see one, two, three, four groups of four. Four plus four plus four plus four, and that equals 16. What is the faster way we could represent this problem using multiplication? Pause the video to discuss it with your partner. Did you and your partner say four groups of four equals 16 or four times four equals 16? Great discussion. Maggie the monster loves hornbows. She loves them so much she bought a pack of four for herself and she bought them for four more of her friends. We can see that represented in this area model. How can you represent that with a multiplication problem? Pause the video and discuss it with your partner. Did you and your partner say five groups of four or five times four equals 20? Great work. Here's another way five times four equals 20 can be represented with the tape diagram. Notice the five fours up in the top and the 20 down at the bottom representing how much five fours equals all together. Now we'll finish with groups of five. This is our last repeated addition with the same size group problem. I don't like anchovies on my pizza, but Jeremy does. He likes precisely five anchovies on each slice. He has a slice on Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On the weekends, he eats pepperoni. How can we represent this problem with a multiplication problem so we don't have to do five plus five plus five plus five plus five equals 25? Pause the video and discuss it with your partner. I bet you said five times five equals 25 or five groups of five equals 25. You are quite the mathematician. Raise your hand if you like gum. Penelope likes gum too. She bought two packs of gum and each of those packs had five pieces in it. It's represented here with this array or area model. So what kind of multiplication problem could we use to also represent this? Pause the video and talk it over with your partner. I bet you said two groups of five equals 10 or two times five equals 10. You are so good at this. It's time to look at the tape diagram and notice how we can represent it in one more way. We can see two fives up at the top with a 10 down at the bottom showing how many pieces are all together in both packs of gum that Penelope bought. 
What is a factor? What is a product? Well, let's use Dr. M, the monster dentist, to figure it out. Dr. M loves teeth, he loves toothpaste, he loves brushing his teeth, and every day when he looks in the mirror to brush his teeth, he counts his five teeth that he has. That's all he's got is five teeth. Well, he's got one group of five teeth, and that equals five. One and five in the problem are factors. The five teeth that he's got all together, that's the product. Let's review all of the important things we learned about multiplication. Read along with me. One, we can quickly count things using multiplication. Two, multiplication is repeated addition in equal groups. Three, multiplication can be represented more than one way. Four, the answer to a multiplication problem is a product. Five, the numbers being multiplied in a multiplication problem are called factors. Now remember what you learned and find some things to multiply. Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher 2. Teachers, please check the description for linked products. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Created using Powtoon.